In this lecture, we're going to do a 10,000 foot overview of the demo application. By the end of this lecture, you'll know exactly what type of app we're going to be building up in stages throughout the course. The app we're building is called Snake Eyes, and it's a dice rolling game where users try to guess the outcome of a dice roll. Users will be able to purchase virtual currency called coins with real money through Stripe. Then users will be able to wager coins on the outcome of the dice roll, and if they win, then they're going to receive a payout of coins. Since we're going to be dealing with users, we'll build up an entire user system. This will include signing in, registering, resetting passwords, and more. The solution we'll build will be very flexible so that you can quickly modify it to fit the needs of any project. We'll also build out a user settings area where users can interact with various aspects of their account, such as updating their login credentials or picking usernames. Users of the platform will be able to subscribe by paying a few dollars per month, and that's going to give them access to coins every month in addition to being visible on the leaderboard. After picking a plan, users simply add in their billing information. In this case, we have a custom Stripe form which even handles coupon code detection in real time. For example, I'll sign up now with a coupon code of DEMO25. Then I'll supply in some fake credit card details and process the payment. After subscribing, users will be able to make various changes to their subscription, such as updating their payment information. Subscribers will be able to change their credit card details without interrupting their subscription. They'll also be able to change their subscription plan. Upgrading or downgrading plans can be done with a click of a mouse, because the payment processing system is smart enough to use their existing billing details. If a user is unhappy with their subscription, they can always cancel it on the spot. In this case, the user has one last chance to back out of canceling their subscription. The workflow both protects the user from accidental cancellation and also gives them a chance to back out of doing it, which in turn will increase your revenue. No payment system would be complete without billing details, so we'll deal with that too. Users will be able to see upcoming subscription payments as well as a full billing history. The billing history includes both subscription payments as well as one-off microtransactions. But before going into microtransactions, let's look at the Snake Eyes game itself. This is where users will be able to play the game. You guess the outcome of the roll, then wager an amount, and place a bet. In this case, I guessed a 7, but the outcome was a 10, in which case I lost. This page fires off Ajax requests to the Flask backend, and then updates various aspects of the page based on whether or not you won or lost. Everything is validated on the server side, so you'll get familiar with working with JSON responses which will give you some knowledge on building APIs. There's even rate limiting in place here to protect your server from being flooded. Over here on the right, the recent bet history lets users know how they're doing, but they can also see a lifetime betting history too. Users will be able to see a full breakdown of each bet they make. In addition to gaining coins through subscriptions, users will be able to purchase coins as a microtransaction. They can pick how many coins they wanna buy and get credited upon payment. The coin bundles are set up in such a way that you can add or remove them with a single config setting. In case visitors have questions, we'll also set up a contact form. Parts of the user system also send emails too, such as password reset links. No software as a service application is complete without an admin dashboard, so we'll build up a custom admin that suits our exact needs. You'll also learn how to modify it to fit the needs of any application that you build. You'll be able to sort and search through users, and even bulk delete them too. You'll also be able to edit various details about each user. This ranges from things like disabling their account, promoting or demoting them, as well as canceling their subscription. You can even glance at their recent login activity to help detect if people are sharing accounts. In addition to that, you'll be able to view invoice information about a specific user, or you can view invoices for everyone. We'll also go over building a robust coupon system that will allow you to create very flexible coupons. You'll be able to create percent off or fixed amount off coupons, pick a custom code if you want to, and even set them up to expire based on quantity or time. If that's not enough, you can also set their duration to only be active for something like the first three months of a subscription. So that goes over the app we'll be building. We'll go over building up the application in over a dozen stages, so you'll be able to see it start from a single app.py file all the way to dozens of well-organized files and folders. With that said, I'll see you in the next lecture where we visualize the application's architecture and talk about the technology choices. I'll see you then.